Hey friend, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the books that absolutely changed the game for me as an artist. Yes, YouTube videos are helpful, online courses are helpful, but don't underestimate the power of a good art book. Some of these books in this list have absolutely changed my life as an artist, and make sure you stay till the end for the final book that's literally changed my life as an artist. So if you are looking for a new book to add to your library or your reading list as an artist that's gonna help you get out of your creative blocks or find your style and your voice as an artist, then let's dive in. So first book on the list is Find Your Artistic Voice by Lisa Congdon. Lisa Congdon is one of my favorite artists. I've been following her for years. She's uh, a very different style than what I do. She doesn't do watercolor. She's more graphic art, more digital art, and really playful, playful kind of collage style of art. And this book talks about developing your style as an artist, about mimicry and finding influence and inspiration in the outside world. And it is a short read. It's a very straight to the point, very practical and useful book on developing your style as an artist, graphic designer, whatever, finding your voice. So highly recommend this book. We'll link to all the books, by the way, that I'm talking about in the description of this video. If you wanna go straight to buy it and add it to your list or whatever, then make sure you check out the description of this video. The next book is Steal Like an Artist. This book is by Austin Kleon. It is absolutely mandatory reading list in my opinion for anybody who is an artist or creative and just wanting to play with art. This is uh, basically goes back to the video I posted about copying. There's a lot of similar themes in this book about how we need to mimic and copy when we're first getting started. He also has a lot of good advice for getting noticed as an artist, starting your business as an artist and all of that. That's really, really helpful. So if you're an artist, both a hobbyist and also a professional artist, Highly recommend Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. It's a very, very good book, a staple in every studio. It should be, I'm talking like Yoda for some reason. Next up on the list is a slightly more recent release and it is The Creative Act by Rick Rubin. I've been a fan of Rick Rubin for a very long time. He is a producer, a music producer. He's produced albums and songs for people like Jay-Z, Eminem, Aerosmith, and so many more. Um, and he is a wise little sage. Very big fan of Rick Rubin. I've listened to every podcast he's possibly been on and um, have been a, a fan of his for a while. This book is very similar to Julia Cameron's The Artist Way, which is also in my list and it's coming up. Um, but it talks about alignment, it talks about inspiration as an artist, and it goes into more of the kind of emotional side or the spiritual side of our practice as artists. Highly recommend. I listened to it on Audible for the audiobook because he reads it and I love his voice. And if you just can't sit down and read a book right now, then I highly recommend the Audible version as well. But this book is really good. He, ha he uses so many life experiences since he's been in the game for such a long time, um, recording and producing music. Um, so I highly recommend this book. It's very motivational. It's very eye-opening and inspirational. And next to tie in with Rick Rubin's book is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. This book has been around for decades and I read it a long time ago and worked through it. It's kind of like a little course, a mini course. She encourages you to do morning pages each morning and there's different prompts and it's broken down in that kind of a style with activities and prompts with each chapter or corresponding day. Um, but it will help you unblock yourself if you're feeling like you're stuck in a creative rut or you're lacking inspiration and motivation with your art and you don't know what to do. This book is going to help you with that. I actually took a lot of inspiration from this book in creating my course, The Art Within. Very different with my own practical information and experience in the course, but very similar in style in terms of breaking out of your creative ruts and blocks in order to find your voice as an artist. Highly recommend. Next book is this very beefy one that I've had for years. It's called Nine Heads. I've talked about it before on this YouTube channel, um, but it's basically a fashion illustration book. It's not, um, you're not replicating the anatomy of the human body and figure, but it is fashion illustration and it's really fun to play with the step-by-step -step, um, uh, figures and clothing and hair. And so if you're wanting to get into more human stuff, more fashion illustration stuff and the human body and figures, this book is really, really helpful. It's gonna help you basically break the rules of the true 
anatomical type of drawing classes or figure drawing classes if you've taken any maybe in college or high school or something. Um, this is gonna help you break those rules that you learned because that's the most important part of being an artist is learning the rules and then learning how to break the rules. So I love this book for that reason and highly recommend it. It is expensive, so I got an older like used version, older edition and used version off Amazon and it was a lot cheaper. So you can look around for the older editions or a used version and you can get it for a lot cheaper, but it is worth it. It's super duper dense, really packed full of a lot of, a lot of good step-by-step -step stuff. And then probably the most helpful book that I worked through and read a few years ago in terms of influencing everything that I draw or paint is this book by Andrew Loomis on drawing the head and the hands. This totally opened my eyes to how everything in the natural world from portraits, human face, body, to flowers, animals, trees, etc., can be broken down into a sphere, into a basic shape. And when you start with that basic shape, you start to get your proportions right, and it can boost and build the confidence that you need in order to draw something super complicated like the human face. So all you have to do is learn the basic things that he shows you in this book about the cranium um, that's going to really unlock and help you understand how the human face is formed so that every time you sit down to sketch a human face, you have a formula. And if you do that formula, it's going to give you the right results every single time. So this book is awesome. He's like the guru of the human face. And then last but not least, the book that literally changed it all for me, completely changed my life, shameless plug, but it is my very own everyday watercolor. This book, when I was approached by a literary agent in 2015 to, to see if I wanted to write a book, came out of the blue for me. I was just getting started with watercolor and two years later, I published and released a best-selling watercolor how-to book. I still can't believe it. I pinch myself every single freaking day, but there's thousands of five-star reviews of this online. It's sold in Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, local, yokel bookstores, libraries, and more, and it has changed so many people's art game. Um, the feedback that I receive on this book every single day is phenomenal. So if you haven't got your hands on this book yet, definitely check it out. Um, I also have my second book, Everyday Watercolor Flowers, if you want to get more specific. And my third book, Everyday Watercolor Seashores, comes out March 2024, and I'm very excited about that one as well. So yes, this is my own little, little plug here, but it, this book actually changed my life um, because of the trajectory of my life. It would be very, very different if this book didn't come into my life, but it has also changed so many other people's lives, so many artists practice and look at things differently after this book. So that has been phenomenal to receive that feedback and that encouragement from people who have bought this book and worked through it and sent us emails and messages. So there you go. And speaking of helpful books, I have a free ebook called The Complete Beginner's Guide to Watercolor. So if you're just getting started or you wanna brush up on your technical skills with watercolor, then check it out. We'll link to it here in this video and in the description so that you can download the free 40 plus page ebook that I have for you that goes into depth on the supplies you should use, the basic techniques like wet and wet versus wet and dry, color theory, color combinations, color mixing, brush strokes, all the things you need to know in order to get started with watercolor or brush up on your skills with watercolor. So make sure you check out that free ebook. And as always, thank you so much for watching these videos and I will see you in the next one.